Well, hello folks, welcome back to this Tennis Manager 2021 save. I am the Custard Prophet. This is episode 15. We're deep into the first year of our uh, Tennis Academy at the uh, Custard Tennis Academy. Um, and we have now two uh, tennis stars within the academy. We have uh, Jay Clark and we have Jack Draper that you were introduced to last time. Now we've played quite a few games since we were last together. We'll have a little look through how we've done, but we've got a big match up for you today. We're going to be playing Novak Djokovic. Oh yes. Let's have a look how things have gone since we were last together. Now the first thing to say is we have now our academy has been uh, improved the business center is now completed so we now have a store uh, which gets us seven thousand pound a month that that is going to make a big difference i think at the minute we are um our, our money in is exp exceeding our money out um yeah this is the current month's revenue so that's from the store uh but yeah we haven't actually played any uh, any tournaments yet so we are getting a reasonable i think we are breaking even now so we're going to start to build up um things and then we'll probably go for i don't know whether maybe the the youth scouting center is the next thing on my radar um i'm not sure quite what we get if we do this um we can't upgrade it at the minute um so we unlock unlock another scouting slot that doesn't seem that good. What do we get for the medical center? Injury reduction 2% seems pretty good. What if we do this? I mean, we couldn't afford this. Uh, tennis internships for the public. Uh, we get a 17,000, but so it's a little bit more money in. And here it is increase another player and we can construct a tennis court and gym. No, we, we get a clay tennis court and a gym. There, there we go. Yeah. So that would improve things a lot. It'd be really nice if we actually had um, a representation of, of what this kind of looks like uh, rather than just like this. I really like this screen, but I think it would be kind of cool to, to actually see it. So you, you've got a like a map like they've got in TEM2. Right then, let's see how... Uh, we'll start with Jay, see how he's got on. So last time we were together, he was in the, um, the US Open. He got knocked out of there after a real rip-roaring tussle. Uh, and he's played a good few uh, matches. As you can see, he's been in four tournaments uh, since we have uh, were, were together. And we're coming back here for the Paris Open, which is a really big tournament. £400,000 prize, 1,000 points on offer. It's a big Masters event. Let's have a little look through though um, those events leading up to this. The Marcel Open here. Uh, here we go. And he got knocked out quickly in this, but he was playing the eighth in the world. So you can understand that. He did lose quite quickly, quite poorly, but okay, it's not too, not too terrible. Um, then he went to China. He did progress in this, in this tournament. Um, which you will see here. Okay, no, he didn't progress in this tournament. No, wrong one. No, he played John Isner in the first round. Just a second. Oh, did he? No, yes, this is the first round. He played John Isner, won the first set, then lost the next two sets. He would have gone through to play Milos uh, uh, Reinich, which would have been an interesting game. I think he might have played him before. Following the Shanghai Open, he then went to Antwerp. This is one he did get some points out of. And you can see here, he beat uh, a Spaniard, Jaume Munier, 6-2-6 love. Um, and this guy isn't too terrible. He is just 26 places below him in the, in the rankings. Then went up against the seed, uh, the eighth seed, who is only one place um, above him in the or yeah above him in the rankings and it went to three sets uh, it could have gone either way this one uh, we won the first set 6-4 and then the tie break we, we had our chances in that set and we lost it and then lost 6-2 in the final set where we kind of lost our way a little bit but a, a reasonable performance against a good player and uh, yeah I was hoping we might get a little bit more I then we then played we've just played in the ball open in Switzerland and we got through to the quarter final this was pretty good going I did actually record this one but the footage was unfortunately unusable uh, not entirely sure why we beat two Spaniards along the way um, 
Pablo Angular, um, 7562. And again, Mounier, this time in three sets, uh, 3 6, 6, 1, 6 4. Very, very pleased with that. But then lost against the, the uh, 18th ranked player, Karan Karasharov, who was. I've got to say, he was he was a powerful player, and we really struggled in the first set to deal with his serve. We played a lot better in the second set, but um, we look we had one break, and that's all all she wrote. Um, but today we are going to be coming back for uh, to check out how he gets on in this Paris Open, which is his penultimate to tournament of the season. He will be playing in the Houston Open um, a little bit later on. He's got a chance, I think, to move forward with that see he's got through first round win against Gael Monfils I think this is a massive victory 6-3-6-4 huge victory so he's in the round of 32 and he's going to be playing Novak Djokovic had to come back for this one now before we get into that match I just want to talk about how Jack Draper's getting on um, you can see he's I think he's progressing quite quite nicely um, and he's been doing really well. As you can see, he is now 85th in the world from what I think he was about 160th when you were last together. Uh, we won't go into each one of these in detail, but um, uh, you can see from when we were last together, he got to the final of the Baotau Open, which is the one where he was playing um, when we were when, when we were last together. Quarter finalist in Genoa. Um, Quarter finalist in the Szeszkwen. No, I was, I, I was thinking that was like Chinese but that's that's Polish it's sh, 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 no I can't say that it's impossible no one can say that all that <laughs> all that <laughs> but uh, yeah he got to a, another semi-final in Taiwan and then in the Ukraine he finally broke his duck with us and he got himself a victory we'll just have a little look at that it, it was against it, it was he, he had gone to a very low rank tournament to do that but I don't think that's a bad thing didn't get a huge amount of points just 10 points for that but got himself a victory which was very very good then got to the final of the Campinas Open which I think was a better quality tournament as you can see here um, he was the top seed but getting all the way through and uh, lost just in the final unlucky against um, you know, a reasonable opponent uh, and then in the Stockholm Open, this was this is the first one he's been playing in, which was a really um, important, you know, a proper tournament, as it were. He's in the Masters events. This is a Masters 250 event, uh, and he lost in three sets. I think that's a very, very good debut in these in this level of tournament. So he is moving forward, and he's improving all the time. So that's how he's doing. We've just renewed a load of contracts, for staff contracts, in the uh, in the academy. We've kept everyone here. I don't think there's any reason to change anything. So I think we'll go on now, and we're going to play in the final. No, we're going to play in the uh, second round of the Paris Open against Novak Djokovic. Wish us luck. We've got no chance of getting anything out of this, but it would be so cool, wouldn't it? Just to just to you know go toe to toe with them for you know for a little bit so high return intensity is what they suggest uh, a more aggressive game plan we don't really have that in our armory we've got an offensive baseline play which is i don't know i don't want to change anything i don't want to change it i think his counter attack works well um right then let's see let's see what happens big game I actually in the previous episode I did manage to get him from get him to react as pumped which was pretty cool so I guess remains without reaction means that he remains pumped I guess that's as high as he can get in terms of his what he's thinking right and let's go well we have won two games unbelievably uh, but it's uh we're 1540 down here against Djokovic apologies it's still they've still got a bit of stutter on the um on the gameplay not entirely sure why that is because I'm trying to everything to to take it away but it's, it has come back after I fixed it so uh the, the fix is not working anymore right then so that's three two um we've lost that game against him and we're 5-4 down against 
Djokovic and we've lost that first set but 6-4 against him I'm pretty pleased with that I, we did not look out of place which is amazing um, I think returns is what they're saying I think we're we're as as we, our intensity levels as high as it can be on returns. What can we do to returns maybe to change things up a bit? We go a little bit further back on his first serve. Um, we're going to go a little bit more attacking, I think. Let's see if we can take it to him. Let's do it. I expect to lose this in two sets, but it would be amazing to do um, do something here. Well, <laughs> it's not a good first set, first game of this set. We love 40 down. Djokovic is coming into the net. He's hit. Oh, no, he's hit the net with that. He's coming in again, and we've managed to uh, get uh, get it past him. He's come in twice now. It looks like he's thinking about it again. Got a good, hard... Oh, well done. There was a huge gap just to play that in. So we've managed to pull it back from Love 40 down now. Can we take the game? This would be good if we could. Well, we did take that last game, but um, it was one all. And uh, but he has got a, oh, it was a double fault there, unfortunately, which uh, handed it to him. Three one down, and now all th thirty forty down, and that was a lovely passing shot, and we are in real trouble now. But we have a break point on his serve. That would be amazing. Breaking him would be something else. Come on. This would, you know, whatever happens, I don't care. And he's got it. It's 2-4. So we got one of those breaks back. Let's get this game now. Well, we've, we're going to have to work for it if we are going to get it 30-40 down on our own serve. Into the net. Another advantage. We did have an advantage ourselves, but didn't use it. He's gone wide. Another advantage. We have to keep, if we want any hope, we need this game. And we have not got it. It's into the net, and I think this is going to be it. And we're 40 30 down here. Match point for Djokovic. We've had a really good first set, second set not so good, but not too shabby at all that. Really not too shabby. I've been having a little look at these uh, these things, um, which are kind of cool. You can see we were, we were serving wide an awful lot. I wonder whether that was the right move. Um, returns, we were getting some good length, length on our returns, which is good. If you look at uh, Djokovic, what was he doing? He was serving centrally quite a lot of the time, actually really focusing down there. So uh, rather than one mid-court serve. Um, no, that's, I'm not too disappointed. I think playing the likes of Djokovic was always going to be hard. It's a defeat that will make you grow up. I suppose that's true. Well then, that is us done in the... Uh, Paris Open, we did get £14,000 for that, which is pretty damn good. That gives us £21,000 in the bank for this month. We've just got to get up to that 31 k figure. I think that's all, that's basically our expenditure for the month. So um, we've got a few tournaments to go, or well, one more tournament to go. And uh, Jack Draper's got a few tournaments to go as well. So hopefully we'll be able to... Um, we'll be able to get to that i think we'll probably be there or thereabouts anyway folks if you have enjoyed this please hit that like button please subscribe if you are new and i will see you in the next one we'll probably be starting season two um let me know what you think where we should be focusing um you know your thoughts i'll be interested to hear them i'll see you in the next one goodbye